Episode number 71 and Sachin Bhandari from the Story Co is back for the attack. I tell you, this is a leadership stories of a different kind. They're not made up stories, they're real life experiences. Episode number 71 with Sachin Bhandari from the Story Co, who's the lord and master as far as that art is concerned. <laughs> and I think I'd like to start the episode this time around by checking where people can reach out to you if they wanted to do a workshop, if HR of companies wanted to hire you, where would they where would they reach out to you? Sure. <laughs> so yeah, if people want to reach out to me, it's fairly simple. Look for Sachin Bhandari on LinkedIn. Sachin is easy. Bhandari is B-H-A-N-D-A-R-Y. And on my LinkedIn profile, there's a link which says get in touch or stay in touch. Click on that. You can either subscribe to my newsletter Win With Stories or uh, book my time to see how I can help your organization Win With Stories. But I also run a community for business storytelling for founders and executives to do better in sales, team building and elsewhere. Uh, you can just uh, send me a ping and I'll help you attend the first meeting for free. Lovely. We come at you every Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. on 94.3 Radio 1 in Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru and Chennai in pure audio form. And we're available on the Mint YouTube channel. And uh, you can sample us in video form 24 hours later, which is Wednesday. How to turn rejections into wins is what everybody in management school will teach you, but not in this particular manner. And this really is the story of Karan who leads the graphic motions team or did at one point in time lead the graphic motions team at Saks India. Very close to where my parents live in Bengaluru in Whitefield is where the Saks oh, office is. Oh, nice. So every time I pass by, I will remember this story. <laughs> now, I'm given to understand that this, this gentleman, Karan, presented to his management an idea right. about a year and a half ago and uh, the project was completely rejected. The seniors weren't sure if it was worth their time, the company's time. And really, as, as uh, top management and leadership today of a radio network, I go through that very regularly, almost on a fortnightly basis. You are the one who's well, rejecting the idea. <laughs> Get rejected, my friend. <laughs> but, but to my leader's credit, at least they give me the right reason or the right path to take and there is ample justification or reasons given as to why my idea or my project was rejected, if at all. Right. Or if I'm going to tweak it in a particular way. I take it current management was far harsher. Uh, no, the management is pretty good. They are really nice people. I've worked very closely with them. So Karan Khandekar leads the graphic motions team. Uh, Karan presented an, an idea and uh, it got rejected because, like you said, the management did not see too much value or ROI. Uh, for their time, effort, money uh, on it. and uh, But Karan is a peculiar kind, you know, he's a guy who does not like to give up so easily. Uh, he was persistent and he was continuously thinking of the idea. And in the interim, what happened? Uh, Saks India's management invited me to run a series of workshops for them called Lead with Stories, uh, which is what I did. I ran these programs and to Karan's credit, he got a brand new, fresh notebook to the workshop and he made notes and he kept that notebook aside that I'm going to use it at some point. He went back to the notebook after the workshop had ended because now there was something called a hackathon uh, which the company organizes every year and everybody gets, an, gets the opportunity to present an idea. So he took the same idea but he used storytelling techniques to be able to present that idea at the hackathon and voila, he actually won the hackathon for that particular year. This was last year, 2023 and his idea was something that the company invested in over the next quarter to to bring it to life. And Karan called me to tell me that that Sachin, uh, had it not been for storytelling techniques that uh, we got to learn through your workshop, uh, I may not have been able to pitch this idea or this idea would not have seen the light of the day. All of a sudden, I'm thinking with a career that spans almost three decades, there are enough stories in my own life. Why should I be listening to other people's stories? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. But. There must be a technical term for that. Write your own stories and learn from your own stories. 100%. What does it mean? So the communication tip, uh, Rishi, for today's story is that a lot of people come back and ask me now that Sachin, okay, great. This is a story that I narrate when I'm talking to a corporate. So a potential corporate reaches out to me, says Sachin, hey, we'd like to evaluate a training program from you, uh, with you. Uh, you know, it's one thing I will tell them, I have this program it's called Lead with Stories, Story Punch for Marketing and Content, blah, blah, blah. All sounds good, but where is the evidence that this works, right? 
So I can say NPS is 60, 65, 70, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, I have to show them evidence of someone's life that's gotten transformed and that is when I narrate current story. And once I narrate these kind of stories, I've seen generally that clients are more inclined towards wanting to know more or are more interested in going ahead and signing the dotted line, you know. And that is what the tip is all about. There is a three-step process, Rishi. First step is to journal. Maybe at the end of the day, every day, spend 10 minutes to ask yourself, was there a story-worthy moment today? Did I see someone doing something fantastic? Did something great happen with me? Make a note of that. Second step is to narrate these stories with your team members, friends, in low-stakes situations, right? Where you won't get penalized if you get the story wrong. Over a period of time, you'll get the story right and you'll know, oh, this kind of story is working with all the people. So you make a note of that. That goes into a special box called your story bank. And over a period of time, you will have about five to 10 of these stories which you can use in different situations. So this is what I would like our audience to do, to follow this three-step process, reflect on your stories, uh, start sto narrating these stories in low-stakes situations and create a story bank for yourself, which will definitely help you move ahead in life and career. I'm going to answer my own question, the one I asked you at the top. When you write your own stories, you need journal them and you learn from those stories and you tell those stories to others. It's called story reflection sure. journaling. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder who came up with this term. <laughs> so story reflection journaling. If you haven't indulged in it as yet, do it. I mean, we'll send you a notebook if you want to. Just keep aside these wonderful stories that, uh, that your life has been touched by and they could be used to touch somebody else's life. Hey, this Story Club of yours sounds very interesting. Talk about that before we say bye-bye. Uh, Story Club is a community where founders and executives uh, have to come together every week, every Saturday morning to be specific online, to practice their storytelling skills, to either get better at sales or at team building or at leadership or just advance their career. Problem is that most people don't prepare for communication. They don't practice communication or stories enough. And third thing is that they don't get feedback. Sometimes you also hear people, right? I narrate a lot of stories, but uh, nobody wants to listen them. That's because you're not narrating the story in the right way. Your audience does not have time. Your boss is running uh, from one meeting to the other and you're like, ah, oh, I started and then there were... That is not going to work. So that's why this community is about practicing your skills so that you get it right every time. Reach him on LinkedIn in Sachin Mandari, where it's B-H-A-N-D-A-A-R-O-I. So it's a Bandari with a Y. We'll be back for episode 72 next week, Tuesday, 8 to 8.30 a.m., 94.3 Radio 1 in Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru and Chennai in audio form. If you prefer watching us in video Wednesdays on the Mint YouTube channel. Thanks very much, Sachin, and see you soon, my brother. Look forward to it. 94.3 Radio 1.